Good evening, everyone. My name is Kristen Joy, and I am the Title I coordinator of the Neponte campus of Pope John Paul II Catholic Academy. I'm here tonight to talk to you about the type of innovation and collaboration and autonomy and its effectiveness and what it can do to all schools in Boston, not just charter, not just district, not just Catholic schools, but a program that might work wherever you are to serve those children that are most in need. Our challenges, sorry, wrong one. Our challenges at Pope John Paul are specific in that we looked at our SAT-10 data from our spring achievement test as well as our math diagnostic data and found that our students weren't achieving even 50% in three specific categories at the middle school level. Now as a collaborative team, we decided we need to look at this carefully and figure out how we can focus our attention on those areas and serve those kids to bring up our scores. You won't be surprised to know that we also found that those were the same kids that have low self-confidence, limited desires to learn, and probably other issues too. So how can we build a program that's going to help all of these things? We have to work together. A program we call PERC was born. Personalized education resulting in knowledge. It's a program that changes the way after school tutoring works. We all know how hard we work all day. But there's hours after school where particularly in the middle school level and for a lot of our students at the younger levels, they're staying at school and we want to make that time valuable as well. PERC is personalized because we target specific students. So students that have a need in, for example, decimals and fractions at the middle school level are selected specifically to participate in this program. We're not just going to take every student and say, stay after school, we're going to help you with this. We're going to target those few students in those classes that need that specific help so that we can fill that gap. The education piece comes from the teachers that are teaching these modules, creating lessons that target those areas with a laser-like focus. The results are that kids are walking away with understanding and knowledge and being able to apply that. The intangible result is they have confidence now. Each PERC module that we've run this year has lasted for four weeks. It meets twice a week for an hour after school. As I said, the students are specifically selected to attend. There's a laser focus for each lesson that teachers have come up with based on our research, our data analysis, and the targeting approach. The results are measured using pre- and post-test data. When I presented this at the at teacher's advisory board meetings, they said, can you tell us what it looks like in a day? So this is a day. I've taught one of these PERC modules just recently. And the session begins with identifying the topic of the day. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to identify that even to the students specifically. Today you're going to learn this. You're going to go home understanding this. They're vested. The instruction is built with small groups, a few students working together. They love that they collaborate every day. And we often include manipulatives and visual representations of concepts. So many of our students today are visual learners, tactile learners. We cannot get up and just talk at them. They need experience, whether it's real life relationships that we develop um, based on how are you going to use this when you're out of school. Students complete an exit ticket every day before they leave. Did you get it? Good. Now it's time to go. Students in my perk sessions, I inspired them by having them uh, use a point system. So they got points just for coming in the door after school. Yay, it's a long day. It's another hour. I'm going to learn some more. So they get two points just for walking in the door. And then they get additional points for added insights or extra effort. And at the end of the perk session, they get a prize. 
That prize for this unit was lunch with the teacher, which they all seem to love because it's not an experience in the cafeteria. <laughs> the results that we have are amazing. We have seen just in the four sessions that we've run this year, 52% increase in the scores of the pre and post data for decimals, percentages, and fractions. 77% in their data analysis and probability. And we just finished the geometry unit, and 69% increase. So that means that they are going from scoring like a 30 to a 90 on the pre and post test. It's really impressive. This is what the data looks like in chart form. Wow. We're going in the right direction. There's still room to grow, of course, with everything in education. There's always room to grow. But we're getting there. It's a program that's working. My favorite part, the kids like it. They're building confidence. This is the intangible result that you see as a teacher when they walk in the classroom and they say, oh my goodness, I get it for the first time. I can do, for example, in this case, we've run math sessions. I can do math. I had two little boys who started the year failing most of their math tests, getting 20s on the pre-test data, and now they're getting Bs, and they're excited about learning math. They're excited when they go into their regular math class because they have some of those skills that they didn't at the beginning of the year. So what does this mean to everybody? What does this mean across Boston? PERC is a replicable program. It can be happening all over our city. It's easy enough to implement with the dedicated teachers that I know exist across schools in Boston. I've had the experience to get to know so many people over the last couple of years. We can do this. What's the other piece that makes it possible? Support from contributions, administration, the Catholic Schools Office is supportive of us. Organizations like the Boston Foundation, the grants that they provide to us. All of these things are necessary pieces, especially to an after-school program. Most of that is funded privately through grants. So it's really important to have the support of our local businesses and communities and the Boston Foundation. Perk. It's a program that boosts students' proficiency and builds self-confidence. By selecting students based on their needs, we're putting to use all of the standardized data that we have available to us and making it real and giving us a way to focus on their specific needs. It takes a village to educate a child. So thank you to all of you in this room who help us do that. <laughs>